They're on their way. That's good. Lowy, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. Ugh. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death about what's going on. Oh, oh god. Well, where do we. Oh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, 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 it's the music from the first game. Sweet. Okay, what did you see? Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Uh, well, not really. God, that is a freaking scary-ass shot. I can't believe seeing that with, like, the hair over her eyes. That's what makes it so scary. Lada doesn't know that one by his channeling. Her whole physical appearance changes. It's true. She grows boobs. I've seen it myself. And it's scary, boy, let me tell you. Well, that's what they're gonna say, because she was the only one in there. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. <laughs> that's one gent with a bad reputation. I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. <laughs> yeah, sort of. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Yeah. This ain't no time to be smiling, though, I can tell you that, so let's move. Hmm, I don't know if I want to go back in there, jeez. So what did we do? Did we just lock her back in there? Or so I don't know. Oh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? <laughs> Thank goodness you remember to say it. She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. The spirit severing technique? The SST! Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Damn, I hate waiting. There's two things that I'm not- WHAT?! Gumshoe?! What are you do? Oh, the police, of course. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, man. Hugs. Big man hugs. High five. High ten. So anyway. Huh? You again. What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Because he's so happy. Shall I show you to the scene of the crime? Detective Gumshoe? She seems awfully relaxed about all this. My name isn't Jim Shoe, and I definitely haven't been to the gym lately, but... You know what? The two of them went into the channeling chamber. Guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Ah! I can't be a lawyer if I have to rely on secondhand information. I need to get in there. I'm going in. I don't care. Oh, look at this, man. What did they do with the body? The police are busily running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Alright. Um, Maya? Have you seen her? I hate to break this to you, pal, but she's been arrested. <laughs> With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Mm, yeah. How are we going to prove that she was possessed? That's like getting into... You can ask more about her later, pal. <laughs> right now, I've got to look to the side because it's the thing that I do in this game. Collecting evidence, anyway. Yeah, that too. So, he does look like a real professional. He always did, man. He's a good guy. Yes, yeah, something about his expression still looks the same. Cause of death? He was shot. <laughs> he was shot in the forehead. Oh, even better. But. But. But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? 
after being stabbed, the final blow was a shot from a gun. So he was stabbed first and then shot. Now, where would she have gotten the knife, or the gun for that matter? You can possess somebody, but you can't just make those things appear out of thin air unless they were already in there. Oh my god. And if they were already in there, who would have put them there besides Morgan Freeman? Oh, jeez. I don't want to start suspecting Morgan Freeman already. Uh, examine. Can we look around here? Hey pal, no touching without my permission. I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful that a kid like her can be a murder suspect, now can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm gonna have to come back later. Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, alright. Take your word for it, Phoenix. We're out of here. Oops. Right, I moused over my thing and a little pop-up thumbnail came up. Dude, it's not going away. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, meditation room? Yeah, we'll go back out. Hmm. <laughs> Thank goodness there's not a whole lot of different places to go here, so we can kind of fairly quickly figure out what's going on. So, has this person been woken up in here yet? Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. I was going to say, if she's still sleeping after all that, then we got a saw situation on our hands here. Like, how can I help you? What? Okay, uh, I'll bite. So, like, so isn't it about time to start? <laughs> huh? Time to start what? The boob shake? You know, like the channeling? <laughs> channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but a murder is taking place. So, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Dear God. How dumb is this girl? Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Oh, she's about to bust out with something here. Like, totally a bummer. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man, what is this? It's like selfie meets... Selfie. With red hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, like, introduce myself. <laughs> My name is... Any Miney. Okay, I remember that name. From the beginning. Oh. What, what did she say at the beginning? She crashed the car. She said something, and then she said any. But it sounded like what she was saying before... Just someone saying it with, like, a slurred speech. But even then, I thought she could have been saying a name. So, right off the bat, I'm going to assume this girl is connected to the nurse somehow? Um... I'm going to assume it's Eenie, though, because it's Eenie Miney. At the college I'm researching is studying parapsychology. Parapsychology. That's right. Uh, I think people like usually call it occult studies or something. Like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers. That sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law, by the way. Damn, she's just shaking it, man. No, no, I'll tell you what, man. She got the hips going on too, man. Eeny miny, jeez. So what brings you here today? Oh, uh, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Yeah, he did. Okay. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. <laughs> huh. I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. <laughs> they, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. 
Well, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time, because I, like, slept a long time. <laughs> this is, um, a little wacky, given what we've seen so far. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, you know, like the guy in Saw. I was just gonna wake up randomly in the middle of, you know, when nobody expected it and just walk out of the room. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place. Oh, boy. Like, what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? <laughs> the surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. And she's still... Just dancing her ass off. I don't know any Dr. Gray. But you just said... Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, he said that some girl from the occult or something... Just like, who was into the occult sort of stuff... Introduced him to this place. Well, uh... Like, a long, long time... A long, long time ago... I was like a patient, yeah. Uh, she sounds more like uh, she's got a whole fabricated story already all lined up and she hasn't studied it closely enough. And now she's grasping at straws. Hmm, nom, 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 nom. Let's examine where she was sleeping. You left the blanket a mess. Are you going to fold it? Like, I had a really good nap, and, like, I'm thinking of leaving it like this, so, like, it's all set for tonight. <laughs> Don't I know the feeling, boy, I tell ya. Okay, well, I guess that takes care of that. So, she introduced the doctor, but she said she was also a patient at one point. Ugh, uh, I'm not gonna think about this too much right now, I'm just gonna leave. Can start making theories. It's a little early for that, I think. There's no one here, as usual. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? She's got the key. How? How on earth? Oh, God. Um, shit. Um. <laughs> oh, my God, she's so cute. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? Um, jeez. Wait a minute, I wanted to ask her about... Oh, now I can't ask her about the thing in her hand. Can I? She probably just ran away. Let me. Uh, well, where would she have gone? Maybe she went in here. Examine. Maybe she's hiding. Maybe she's hiding in the blanket. Hmm. No. Okay. Well, I thought just maybe that that would make like a clever puzzle, you know, to have it so that you had to go like go back and look. Look out the door. It's the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here, I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. So you definitely can see that from here. Is that going to be relevant later? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, there she is. Okay, let me try it again. The item in your hand. Um... Nope, she's, uh... What is it? <laughs> okay, well, I think we figured out that we're not gonna get... Too much of anything out of her right now. Um, wow, a room with nobody in it? Ha, oh, what a nice cucka feeling inducing... I never examined these over here. What is this over here? Oh, I can't look at it. Actually, I haven't looked at anything in here. Hmm, probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let's see. 
Here's one in English. It says, 100 ways to save money. <laughs> Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. Yep. What does the sign here say? Someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, here's a translation. Know thyself. No, actually it's once in a lifetime. But uh, <laughs> Its message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Once in a lifetime. Uh, let's see. Move. Can I go back now? Hmm, well, I guess not. Unless there was more to say with him. Find that out in a minute. Let's just go back out to the village now. It's been a while since we've been out there. Yeah, here we go. Making progress, making progress. What's up? She's probably scared out of her wits having a murder take place right near her. Lotta? God, don't let me be next. No, don't let it be me next. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. What is it? Wonder what's got yourself shaken up. Any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you besides my tongue? Nah. Yeah, well, maybe one thing. Mm-hmm. What is it? You vomited. What is too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary shit, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. <laughs> more glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, yeah. What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, oh, she did. Two, even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Just think of the Google results. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside of me. And it smells like burning deodorant. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops at a scoop of the century. Oh, God. <laughs> and her ha ha ha's trail off as she leaves. I don't know who's scarier, Lada or the spirit. And why does it feel like we've been through this before? I know, indeed, why does it? Is that Ninja Brian over there on the... Look over here on the bus stop, right here. It's Ninja Brian, man. It says Ninja Brian on the poster. Once part of the game Grumps, but he left to make a band. Oh, that's sad. Alright, um... I guess we're done. Let's move along. Getting better at these games, knowing, like, the little... Uh, I don't know, the signals that it gives you, you know, to move on. Like, once you've examined everything, there's no need to examine it again. It's not like something else is going to appear there. Although I'm not ruling out that possibility entirely, but I would think if something does change, it would at least be a little obvious. Dear Madam, you have such impeccable timing. Wait, what? Who is she talking to? Oh, here we go. Like, what's all the buzz? <laughs> Alright everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fey Manor tonight. Ooh, do we get to wander around at night? What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. So that's what that conversation was about at the beginning of the game. When Maya was saying, I did it, and Phoenix was saying, no, you didn't. Anyway, 